Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, we unbox, do hauls, chat, eat, eat. This is Snack Crate. I'm so excited. From a different country. I feel like we just had this. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I'm Keep I'm them ready. coming. So, I'm ready for more. This would be November's box? Mm hmm. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Well, mm -hmm. what's today? 17 of November. So. Yeah, it has to be, because why yeah. else would it be here now? So let's just hope it's something good. Is it? Is it? Pakistan. Uh, All right. Japan for some reason. I don't know why. Well, we can do this. I mean, I'm interested. Okay. Pakistan. I love it. Look how pretty. The, yeah, look at that. Pretty. Ooh. Oh. The language, like the writing, is definitely very different. Very different. All right. <laughs> Can't Paki stand your snacks? <laughs> That's great. That's a great That's one. Funny. I really want to upgrade some time to the drink. Mm. Oh, but that's okay, because I brought my own drink today to the party. Yeah. It's a surprise. I and put a sock. It in a sock. <laughs> oh, that looks so weird. Right. Well, it's yeah. a drink, but and I don't want her to see no. it yet. It's nothing like crazy or anything, because I found it at all these. They couldn't really have too much of anything, but, you know. Oh, no. What? You're not going to like what I just saw. Oh no! Oh, and, Our cable is broken. And, and and then for the last of this, she's finally trying out the pickle, pickle balls. balls. What is this? Well, let's just go on. We're she's not gonna see yet. <laughs> so the first item in this Pakistan box mm -hmm. is something we just had in the last box: ketchup chips. Oh, deja vu. But it's different. Though. They're crinkle chips. Oh. Okay. Curlies. Maybe they'll be like a more of a tomato layer. Yeah, ours than, was Dorito that we yeah, tried. Yeah, they were Dorito um, ketchup. But at the same time, from the other side of the world, it might be... Uh, oh, no. Okay, so it is a ketchup, but it's more of a tomato ketchup. Like more mm -hmm. tomato, tomato. She can stand this one. No. It's not as bad as them. No, because... Ketchup in other countries tastes a little different than the ketchup in the U.S. Yeah, well, um, the ketchup we had was Canadian, but... That's true. But, but I don't know. It's close by. Um, yeah. Like, for example, I get this uh, Russian ketchup, and that thing is like... Delicious. But this is not bad. It's not bad. I see, like, you go for a second. I go for a second. It's not great, but it's not bad. Like, I don't... I kind of like it. She kind of does. Has that turmeric. All right, so... Would you I rate give it this? a six. A six. Mm. I'll go with six, too. I like it. The aftertaste is like... The, yeah, the aftertaste is fine. It's more of a chippy. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> All I right. Know, I kind of like those. It kind of. It kind of reminds me of the Russian ketchup. I like it. All right. Mm, okay. Chills, potato sticks, lemon, and chili. I don't know about that. I'm just going to mm. make it spicy. Yeah. Okay. The first, I thought it was... potato sticks boast a pop of tangy lemony zing mixed with dash of chili spice. Leaving your mouth wanting more. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't really smell anything. I mean, I smell the chili peppers. I'm not um spicy. Oh, woo! Wow, there's a kick. Oh my! It's could, good. It's, I'll, you can hit the, the lemon hits first, and then the chili. Mm-hmm. Mm. Burns your tongue a little. Oh, bro, burned my throat a lot. Woo, my my and nostrils. If you like spicy, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't like spicy, but I can tell when the spicy is good and when it's not. This is really good. It's got a perfect. 
combination of the, the potatoes, the seasoning, the lemon, the, yeah. um, the spice definitely hangs around the most, mm -hmm. like it's still there. Um, if I was like a spicy lover, I would give it a 10, okay. easy. I'm not a spicy lover, which means I probably wouldn't do this. I would give it, yeah, I'd say a strong five. Five, because it's... Like my face is burning even more now. Yeah. I leave your mouth watering for more. No. For more water. For more water. Well, okay. So there's the salty stuff. Mm. We're gonna... I would pick tomato ketchup chips. Okay. okay. Jiggles. I do that. Watermelon jelly. So these are little sour watermelon slices. I wonder how sour these are. All right. So, hello, hello boots. Slightly sour gummies with a real watermelon taste. These bodacious bites will leave you with a taste of summer that you can, that can be enjoyed all year round. I'm okay with that. Okay. There's two packs. I guess we'll just open one. Yeah. No point. This box seems like really full. Mm hmm Like. We okay with that? I like that. Uh huh. Oh, they're cute. Got the watermelon. Mm. Mm. Like just... a normal. Well, they're not sour. Mm -mm. They're actually just really sweet. Yeah. Which I'm okay with. Like although, like on the package, it doesn't say that they're sour. That's true. It just says jiggles, I... watermelon, jelly. Yeah. It doesn't. It just says it in here, slightly sour. Mm. Yeah, but it's not. But I think it's also really depends of your sour right. tolerance and stuff. Yeah. Um, Might be we're going to be to testing you. it out today on her sour tolerance. Mm. To the room. <laughs> but these are very delicious. They're good. I'm you glad know, they sent two packs. They are, they are really good. They're just, just a nice, sweet watermelon. Watermelon, watermelon really sugar, high. Okay. Let's go wispy. Okay, so it's Wafer like one of those, uh, Oh, it's actually filled with um, mm -hmm. strawberry. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, strawberry cream. So a big break from the usual chocolate bar. Yes. This mm -hmm. delicate texture of this crispy wafer filled with lightly strawberry cream is a snacker's dream come true. Snacker. I am a snacker. Open okay, it. I like wafers. Mm -hmm. I like strawberry. We like. Oh, it looks like kind of like a candy cane. Yeah, that's cute. So there we go. I and actually never had a, like a strawberry one. I, I don't, don't think, think I've had you know? strawberry either. Vanilla, hazelnut, and chocolate. White chocolate? Mm-hmm. You can smell the strawberry, but then you taste it. And it's a weird taste to me. It's not my... It's um, it's not good, but it's not good. I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I like it. The cream. It's not exactly like you know, like an artificial cream, but it is artificial cream yeah, in between. But it doesn't really leaves anything behind, like you know, like a residue no, type of thing. Mine have a little aftertaste. To me. I mean, you are tasting it just because I mean it's sweet. It just like fills up your whole palate and stuff, but. I find it personally very pleasant. I like it. I would give it a a nine. That's good for my sweets. I would I would personally personally I would eat like about this much of them, like easy. So I'd say about a good eight packs of these. Okay. Um. No, that's a no for me. No for you. I'd give it a six. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not awful, but I don't. The smell is amazing. It smells like like real strawberries, and you just taste it. And I don't know. It's something about <laughs> it. Something about it. I don't like. Okay. No biggie. No. Where do you want to go next? Let's go to now. now. Let's go to now. Oh, it's chocolate, chocolate. paste. A chocolate paste. Um, I wonder if you oh, just suck wait. it out or you well, put it in the milk. You put no. You, it's a topping. It could be a topping. Mm. Wake up your morning yeah. with some topping in your mouth. Added deck. How do you say that? Spell check. I don't know. Decadence? Decadence. Know. This sweet chocolate paste has a delicate taste, perfect for topping things like pancakes or waffles. Mm. So it's like a, a chocolate syrup type of a okay. thing, you know? Well, 
Well, I'm opening. I was thinking about one of those things you just like you suck on. You suck on and oh, yeah, it's a paste. From it's right like there, a, it looks like a kind of Nutella. Yeah, that's okay. what I think. I feel. Oh, <laughs> that's. Oh, I just put it like up my nose. It's like it's pure like a, chocolate. It's like um slightly Nutella ish. Yeah. Oh. It tastes like chocolate frosting out of a can. Like the Betty Crocker. Not, not bad. I mean, that's fine. Got it's, another one. That's kind of just weird. Chocolate paste. Chocolate paste. All right. I mean, put it on some. This wouldn't be enough for a pancake. No, not the um, pancakes I eat. This be enough for a one bite of a pancake. Yeah. I would give it a seven. I mean, it's chocolate. Yeah, I, I mean, mean, a seven's good. Seven's good. Where do you want to go now? More chocolate. Prince chocolate. Okay, so we have these cookies, which um, I'm familiar kind of with. It's not, a, not exactly like the brand or anything, but just the way I can see from the package. Okay. What they look like uh, in a bigger form of them. Mm -hmm. I don't know what so those. These crumbly cookies. Oh, I love crumbly. Feature a layer of delicious chocolate cream, making them ideal as a snack, dessert, or with you can have it with coffee and tea. Okay, so it's that type of cookie. Mm -hmm. We had something like this before in one mm -hmm. of our boxes, and I don't know what country it was, but Let's see. yeah, crumbly. It's more. It's kind of like a cracker. Yeah, kind yeah. of a little bit of a crackery. Oh. Crackery. Mm. Mm hmm. The cracker part is like really airy, actually. It's like not hard to no. bite, you know, just so you. Mm. And it's just like the whole thing like falls apart. Mm. I like it. It's good. I mean, it's I'm not, not super sweet. No, it's not. It's more, um, it's not savory. I mean, more like a cracker mm -hmm. like a, it's more of a cracker and that chocolate is not very sweet yeah. so it's really you can easily eat a lot if you're not a sweet toother i think this is a good yeah like once in a while type of thing to have yeah i'd I give like it, it a seven i'd give it like a good eight seven yeah for me not bad i'd probably like that more than vanilla yeah vanilla that's, that's or actually true yeah because i'm not we don't really like chocolate we like, uh, like candy bars are different mm -hmm. from a chocolate filling, like pastries or cakes and yeah. ice creams. We don't really like that. Like triple chocolate cake. Uh -oh. Oh. No. But these are actually pretty good. I pretty good. I also stay away from like a chocolate cookies and stuff like that. I don't like that, but yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's nice because it's just not very sweet. Because a lot of times whenever you buy the chocolatey things. It just feels kind of like it's dry. Yeah. You know, and it's just a little... Ugh. I have a feeling this might be dry. Okay. It could it's a, surprise us. Okay. Panda cake with a K. <laughs> okay. So, this irresistible burst of flavor... Oh, and irresistible burst of flavor. This deliciously... This... this deliciously. Okay. God, it's been a long... Yeah. Golden brown panda-shaped cookie is filled with a smooth and ooey-gooey... Strawberry cream center. I expected it to be chocolate for some reason. Ugh. Which I'm, I'm glad not, it's not. I'm not sure what's happening to the face. Yeah, what, what is that? I think it's supposed to like look like that. Yeah, but it's not. But it's not. But it's a non-existent. <laughs> oh, look, it's like you... And it's neck. Oh, no. Yeah, it's like a little sponge cake with... Mm -hmm. Like no filling. Oh, you got filling. Oh, it's it's in between of the moist and dry. It's really soft, but if you have like I think too big of a bite, it will become a little too dry. There's something about it. You know, it's the same for you as that thing. Yeah, it's that strawberry. It's that strawberry. Mm. Something about the way the strawberry is. I just I don't. Have no problem with it. I do. <laughs> I give it a five because I don't know. Something about the Something. strawberry. Mm -hmm. We're not going to waste that. She'll eat it. 
I don't know. There's something about it. I think I still have some of that lemon chili powder up here too. I think that got in it with it and that did not taste good. <laughs> That's funny. Man, we got like two more items. Mm -hmm. So we have Kokomo. Kokomo? Yeah. Filled uh, chocolate filled cookie biscuit thingies. Some more. Oh, okay. So it's like one of those things that we buy sometimes for our kids. The pandas? Like. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Oh, they got little designs on it. Oh, it's like a little car. Okay, I wonder if mine's anything different. Let's see. Yeah, mine's a little person. I thought it was a son. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's it's a person. Like, like a, a stick a figure head, person? Something. Okay. Hmm? What is? The feeling actually to me, sun. Oh, feels actually more richer mm -hmm. than, than the, the ones we would buy like in the store, you know? Yeah. What are? Here we are. Crisp and buttery. Whoa. Guys, I'm handing it off to her. Crisp and buttery biscuit filled with sweet chocolate cream, featuring fun graphics printed on the outside that look good enough to eat. Literally. Yeah. I got the moon. Okay. The sun and the moon. Not bad. I like it. Like, and like I said, uh, the filling, I think, is a little bit more richer. Mm -hmm. Or maybe like, maybe there's just a little bit more of more. it. More. Than the ones that we would buy. So that's really good. I like that. Yeah. That's a good eight. Yeah, I agree. An eight. Eight, eight, nine, eight. whatever. Like, you know, I, I don't know. Do Like, I don't, we've had maybe barely any tan no i don't we don't really him. know what a tan is honestly <laughs> i don't know what a tan, what a tan is. i think okay so for a tan i think we should say to an item that we would want to like buy an abundance of and eat it all the time or eat it all at once okay you yeah. know that would should be a tan yeah. not necessarily like oh it tasted a tan but it's something that you would you continuously buy get and eat and yeah that yeah. should be a 10. That should be a 10. <laughs> All right. So what's this next? Uh, Sandy's. Candies. Homebrews. Oh. Bigger size, more filling. Oh, okay. It's like... Mango, licious, hard oh. candy. Oh. Ooh. All right. It's a hard candy. Um. Hard candy. I'm not really. I like it, but then I, I don't go so like rough it. with hard candies. Oh, I... But you can see there's a look in the center. Yeah. There's a little mango, little thing, mango like a little strip. Yeah, you can see it there. Okay, let's go. Oh. Well, I got suckling in forever. Yeah, and she don't like. She wants to just chomp. Mm. She's it's a chomper. A, it's gonna happen. Eating this mango licious hard candy is like biting it. You can't bite into this, people. Stop. She did. Okay. <laughs> it's like biting into a fresh and juicy mango. Is it? No. <laughs> While you relax on the beach as a cool summer breeze sweeps past you. <laughs> you don't like the beach, so. <laughs> I mean. It's it's not a mango. Um, it's very artificial. Because mm -hmm. how do you put a mango in a candy? Like, I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but, um. That's a no. It almost doesn't even have a hint of a mango to me. What are we, like nectarine? What are we tasting here? I haven't bit mine, but. I don't know. Like, I've bit mine just to get that. Pineapple? More of a flavor. It but just feels like it's just a fusion of things that tropical. made it a whatever. Tropical yeah. fruit. Yeah. I like from, that. I don't hate it, but it's not a mango. It's I mean, just not a mango, and you cannot say it's a mango. Unless it tastes like a mango. To me, it doesn't taste like mango. I love my mango. Uh, that's not mango. But it's good mm -hmm. for a hard candy. I suck on this in the summertime on the beach with a cool breeze. <laughs> but I agree. It doesn't taste... It just tastes like a tropical... Mm -hmm. It's like you get in, like, you know, those any... Uh, like at the store, like a uh, tropical fusion juice. Yeah, or, or I was something. thinking of the um, the canned fruit. The yeah, fruit like cocktail. Just, like I don't know. Yeah, that's it's, all. 
don't expect an amazing mm -mm. thing out of this. It's not right. happening. So that is the end of the snack treats. The Pakistan box. Overall, not bad. I like that. I was really hoping for Japan. I've been seeing other people on social media I get wonder. Japan. I wonder if it's different. Right. How? Maybe, maybe they already, I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me, how does it go? I don't know. How does it go? Um, I can't bite this candy. Here, there's a... Ooh. I kind of want to save it for later. Because I don't hate it that much. I don't hate it. No, it's okay. that's what I said. It's fine. So now we're moving on to this part of this sock. <laughs> sock surprise. So she got this cold brew something. <laughs> Cucumber, lime, ginger, sparkling. Cold brew coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Those co that's a weird combination. And that's what I got her. She loves coffee. Uh, um, yeah. I enjoy coffee, you know, and I'm willing to try. And this this was also on clearance, so uh -huh. there was only like two. There's only two left. Okay. So that means like, that people like it. Let's Maybe. go. Maybe. Or they're just like, let's try this. But for like 79 cents, it was worth it. And I figured, you know, oh. in our Chicago cup. Chicago cup. All right. So I'm going to. This is, I was, like, I should have known cold brew. What cold brew, man? I just was like cucumber, ginger, lime, and. You literally smell all at once. You do. <laughs> it's like coffee, ginger, uh, oh, cucumber, lemon, like, yeah, everything or whatever. That is just really weird. Lime. It's not lemon. It's lime. Oh, that looks like swamp water. It's not. Yes, it does. It looks like when they're uh, flushing the hydrants. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Have you tried this before? Did you... No. Oh. Well, why aren't you? Drinking? I will. I just want to see you drink, first. You drink out of the can. I drink out of the cup. <sighs> Excuse me. She's torturing me. <laughs> and you make sure your cup is empty. Why? That's a lot. I, it's not that much. I need you to finish it because you will need it. Okay, guys, I would, my coffee though, I do like some kind of cream. <laughs> oh no! I don't know. It doesn't really. Um, I'm not a big on ginger. No, especially in drinks. I like. I think I can handle ginger a little bit in foods. Yeah, like but the drinks. Mm. I don't. <sighs> when you take a sip first, it's a ginger and lime right away. And then I guess the cucumber and the coffee comes in somehow, but oh, it is not something I would actually. Okay. I would not buy that. No. So. <laughs> I don't even know what's going through my body right now. <laughs> we done that. She told me to empty it, so I emptied it. I guess to put this no. sour pickle ball in. That's where she was going. Okay, so I finally have ordered the sour pickle balls. Okay, so uh, I actually retried it at work with some of the girls. They also tasted it and stuff. Um, <sighs> honestly, the first time I've tried this, which was like a few years back uh, through a Munch Pack subscription, like I couldn't keep this in my mouth for like five seconds. Oh, oh no. This time I did a little bit longer. 10 seconds. So it feels like it's not as potent. Make sure to bite it. Is it like soft enough to bite? Oh yeah. Okay, like it's a... It's like a real pickle, right? Oh, guys, I didn't even start liking pickles until like my third pregnancy. The second, yeah, third pregnancy. <laughs> what is that? It's like moss. <laughs> is this even real life? Uh-uh, there is no way. Uh-huh. That is consumable. That looks like Play-Doh. This and is, I think it says, yeah, Mexican, Texas, San Antonio. Oh, it stinks so bad, guys. Oh, you eat it. So. Should that hot mop? Hot mop. If I puke, you're going right to be mad. Right here. Oh, is that what the cup is yeah. for, to puke? I thought it was going to be, like, liquidy. I would have <laughs> liked it if it was liquidy. <laughs> no, it's for you to spit it out. Mm. 
legit go and buy right. that to eat or do they buy that to or like prank somebody yeah so you don't know yeah i don't know well help yeah i don't know like people who are able to keep this in their mouth like long enough so after after like chewing it and stuff and still keeping it i have like you there's something wrong with the taste buds out there this is the back of my throat <laughs> Guys, is that the worst thing you've ever had? Well, one of the worst, probably things. Probably one of the worst. I can't tell if that's a joke or not. Like, what is this? <laughs> that's your middle finger. Mm. Well, that was an experience, guys. Um, we're done for tonight. We have thirty minutes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So there's the aftermath. Because you guys, you know, you want to see it. Yuck. So I'm gonna. We're gonna clean up. If you guys want to see more weird, great things. Great things. Great pickle balls in there's your mouth. There's not that many things that will disgust me like that. Besides this, you know, this is definitely. I don't know what else is out there that would be so gross that would make me like not, many not keep it in my mouth. I don't know. I'm always willing to try lots of things. Like, I've tried the balut, you know, which people, a lot of people hate it and they find it disturbing. I personally found it very delicious. Found yeah. it. Found it. Found it. Yeah, that's it in English. Well, so. let us know. If you guys got anything nasty we should try, bring it on, because... <sighs> we had a canned whole chicken before. I heard somebody talking about that. Sounds disgusting. I expect it to be jelly. Fine. Yeah, I don't like... No. All right, guys, we got to go because I might throw up. So thanks. <laughs> Come back and box with us. Unbox with us again. Or... Bye. Bye. <laughs>